Alrighty, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and today we're going to be reviewing another piece of software. Today's software is Disk Drill by Clever Files, and this program is designed to help you manage, recover, and restore your files on your hard disks and thumb drives and such in the event that something, uh, well, shenanigans related happens to them and you might be at risk of losing some of your important documents. Uh, these are things like, you know, your pictures, your PowerPoint presentation that you need for Tuesday for that important meeting at 9 o'clock that you might get fired if you screw it up, all sorts of things like that. Disk Drill will let you scan for all of your lost files if you delete them by accident, and it'll even help to monitor your various disks plugged into your computer, both Mac and PC, in case it starts to fail, so that you don't lose any important documents. So in order to demonstrate how this works here today, I have got a handy dandy 4 gig thumb drive here, and we're just going to load it with some images. We've got this gif of what people think uh, your tourism in space is going to look like, people getting murdered and eaten by aliens, or letting the air out of the cockpit. We've also got this picture of Thomas the train or the train engine the tank engine uh, if he was in fallout a smiling dog and some old cottage and also one of my other videos here about an audio editing tool that is about to go up we're going to try and recover all of this stuff after it has been loaded onto that four gig thumb drive and it's not a very big thumb drive and i decided to use this one in particular because it is dying. It is physically like not working correctly 100% of the time. And it's actually kind of impressive all the stuff that Disk Drill has been able to get even off of this very old thumb drive that's been through the wash uh, way too many times, which is why I quit using it originally. So all of these things are on here. They are in fact working, it looks like. So we've got this GIF and these images, which are a little bit slow to load. So we're going to go ahead and immediately move those to my trash can, delete these, and this is the standard scenario that a lot of people who have to download file recovery software tend to run into. They deleted that important uh, meeting PowerPoint for Tuesday, and they are freaking out because they don't have enough time to remake it or the stuff that they need is gone as well. So we're just gonna open back up Disk Drill, and here is our little 4 gig thumb drive, which I named 4T instead of 4G for some reason. But this is uh, partitioned as an XFAT thumb drive because that's pretty simple and straightforward to move between Mac and PC, which is something that I do very often. And the first thing I like to do when I use software like this, especially because it's a primary component of Disk Drill, is you can click on this little icon here and you can get some information about your various uh, disks and drives and other partition segments to see what their health is like, to see if they are in a failing state of health. And this has two partitions on it, the system partition and also the XFAT partition. And you can see it's four gigs in size. It's got the USB protocol, so it's a USB device. It's got a, let's see, it's only got 2.9 megabytes used, and it looks like it's semi-okay to use. But if these things are orange or red, you might want to consider paying attention to that hard drive, for example, because it might be about to die because it's simply wearing out. So this is all pretty straightforward. It doesn't look like the thumb drive is dying, although I do know from experience that it kind of is. It's partitioned as FAT32, but I know it's XFAT. And this can also tell me stuff about regular hard drives as well, like my Max hard drive. And this is kind of important for hard drives, especially spinning hard disks, is what their overall status is. And smart attributes are basically just the overall health of the hard drive. And if this is red or orange, that could imply that it's about to fail. So you might want to put a couple of extra features on it that we'll go over in a sec, but really I just want to go into this thumb drive and recover 
my lost photos because my dog Jeremy was in that picture and I want him back. So we're just gonna click on this arrow and we're going to run all recovery methods, but it can also do a deep scan to scan for every last minutia of data on the device. It can just search for the partition file so that it can just try to fix the hard drive or thumb drive using the partition information to just get all your data back lickety split. Or it can scan for just a specific partition, the HFS, which I believe is the standard Mac stuff. But since I just kind of want it back and I don't care what method is used, we'll just click the run all recoveries method because that's the primary bread and butter that most people will probably want to use. So what it's gonna do now is it's gonna go through all of its uh, different methods for recovering stuff. It's first, it's going to look for a lost partition because if it can find the original file, which tells the computer where all the other files are stored on this raw chunk of memory, then it that's all you gotta do. It's fixed, it'll put it back together like a jigsaw puzzle, and you're good to go. Um, the originally, when I first picked up Disk Drill, before the Clever Files people emailed me about a review, I had actually lost a few files on a brand new hard drive that I had gotten from Seagate, because um, I can't quite remember, I think I was transferring a backup to it, and there was one file in particular that I hadn't had a copy of anywhere yet, and I think the power fluctuated or something hiccuped in the system, and I lost that partition completely. Like, it was like there was nothing on the hard drive. And I plugged this in, and Disk Drill was able to not only fix it, but in order to just an instantaneously found that lost partition file, and then it was like nothing had happened. I was able to continue on backing stuff up to it, like nothing had exploded in the first place. Now I know for a fact that there are no lost partition files on this particular thumb drive, so it's not gonna really find anything there, but once it's done looking for lost files, it's gonna say, okay, so the partition's fine, the partition is healthy, now all I have to do is go back through and look for all the little lost pieces of data, the lost raw files, and then I can start to say, oh, okay, here's the file that you're looking for. Now, that's something that's gonna help us a lot for that is we're actually going to only search for files that have been deleted in the last day because I just accidentally deleted that important project for work and that's really the only thing that I'm interested in. Uh, anything else can just sit there and stew because I do know that there's been a lot of files on this thumb drive, both for clients and for me personally, um, I could spend hours sifting through all of that. Hundreds of thousands of photos have probably been on this thumb drive um, over the over its long life. I've had this thumb drive since I was in high school. So that's that's already done. So again, it said, okay, the drive is healthy. Nothing wrong there. Don't have to fix anything. So now I just have to go about scanning through the entirety of the hard drive. And because it's not a very big one, it's just a little thumb drive, it's only going to take about three to maybe 10 minutes to scan through the whole thing. Uh, I give it a little bit extra time because again, this particular thumb drive has been through the wash a good five or seven times, both from me and from people I've lent it to, which is why it doesn't get lent out as much. So I, if I looked for files from any time, you can see it's already recovered a whole mess of pictures and some documents and a video, but I know there's actually some like, funeral pictures from up north and some birthday parties in here. That's a lot of stuff to sift through, so I just want stuff that has been deleted in the last day. And if we go into these pictures, we've got some JPEGs. And here we have Thomas the Train and or the Tank Engine in murder robot form. We have the Smiling Dog. We have another copy of Thomas the Train Engine. And here is the cottage picture. And I'm sure eventually it will even find that animated GIF. And it is also an MP4 video, which I am fairly certain is my tutorial video. Oh, there you have it. Just like that, I have gotten back all of my data, and it looks like all of it is in good working order. So now I don't have to worry about that uh, presentation for work, and my job is safe and secure. And I can then um, pause this thing, because I've got what I need, and I can either recover these files, to a specific folder, 
Um, I have a mumble recordings folder that I'm not currently, actually, I don't even think this exists anymore. Um, I can save all of that stuff to a specific folder on my desktop, or I can mount them as a disc here, and then I can use this as if it's a secondary um, mounted hard drive or something, and I can just sort through the pictures and videos at my leisure. And here you go, they're all right here. Lickety split and handy dandy. And this, I like this. Um, when I had my moment of freak out when I was missing a port and file, Recover or Distril was able to do a deep scan on that brand new hard drive and find my important files within about half an hour. And I was, you know, I was happy, it was done. So I bought a copy of this and it's worked for me really great ever since. And there is now a free version that you can use on both Mac and PC. So, yep, I know blah, 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 results and all that stuff. Um, I'm done with that stuff. Got my files back. Huzzah. Uh, let's talk about some of the extra features that this sucker has underneath the hood. So you've got some um, areas here you can specify bad blocks on the hard drive so that your computer will no longer try to write information to it. You can back it up to a DNG image, or you can get info, but my favorite thing that I do in fact use for my own purposes is I have the file recovery vault enabled. So basically what this is doing is it's keeping a little record of where every little file is on your hard drive by its like hash number. It's like individual identifier on like the binary level so that if anything happens, this thing can be used to recover those files. Maybe I delete something by accident. Maybe a program crashes when I'm working on an important Photoshop file. If something like that happens, Distril is going to know where that file is and it's going to be able to instantly recover it for me. Now, the one that I don't use, which is even better, is the guaranteed recovery protection, which it basically keeps an invisible copy of all your deleted files in the background hiding. Now, this is a bit of a problem for me personally because I work with a lot of video files, a lot of superfluous files, that once I'm done processing a project, I'm gonna keep the backup footage on an external hard drive, but I would really just assume it didn't keep an extra copy of the cache files on my desktop or on my you know home hard drive, because it takes up a lot of space and this can be a little bit on the clunkier side. But if you work with a lot of smaller files, just a lot of office files, Word documents, PowerPoint presentations, um, a handful of videos, or a handful of JPEGs, and space isn't so much of an issue, then you would definitely want the guaranteed recovery protection. And I just, I like any program that keeps my stuff safe automatically in the background without me having to think about it. So that's personally why I enjoy Distril. And for everyone else, this thing can recover files from every major file system, every major partition type. Um, I've used both Mac um, HFS file types. I've used um, NTFS um, on the PC, and it's been able to recover some game saves for me, some folders and files and videos that I've lost on my desktop before. So pretty much anything that you need to recover Distril should be able to scan it down to the deepest levels and find it. Now, it should be mentioned that if you're trying to recover a file from a very, very long time ago, uh, it might partially be written over by now. So not even Distril or even some of the most expensive solutions out there on the market is probably going to be able to fix that for you, but they will do their darndest and you can even contact their tech support in order to get some extra help doing that. But again, I really like that you can see the health of your drives. It really quickly recovers all of your information, does a deep scan, finds all that binary information and pulls it back up. And you can save things as an image, export it as like a, a saved disk image that you can recover it at your leisure. And you can even save your scanning sessions so that you can go back over them another time. So I thoroughly recommend Disk Drill to everybody both the free version and the pro version, because, I mean, if you might lose your files or you have a lot of files that you really want to keep a hold of, it's important to protect them. 
So you, it's a good idea to both back them up, but also to have something like this on a hand that you're familiar with using, because accidents happen. You know, I'm pretty careful with my files, but even I had a bit of a hiccup. So, yeah, this is Distril by Clever Files. You can find the links to this in the description. I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys and gals next time. Toodles, everybody.